Merry Christmas! What's merry about Christmas? We can refer to the time when the angels proclaimed to the shepherds the birth of Jesus, the Savior of the world. His birth began the fulfillment of God's plan of salvation. Martin Luther shared his insight about this, the mystery of the humanity of Christ, that He sunk Himself into our flesh, is beyond all human understanding. Just imagining how the Son of God came into human flesh and became like us is mind-boggling, isn't it? Listen to what the Apostle Paul taught the brethren at Colossae about His identity. For by Him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through Him and for Him. And He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. As Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 to 17 states from our English Standard Version, Let me reiterate that no matter what people believe or do not believe, the birth of the prophesied Messiah opened the door between God and man. Amen? And in His birth, in His death and resurrection, Jesus reconciled us to the Father. Join me in looking at it from a grander scale, that Christmas is a celebration of God's promises fulfilled. Since Genesis chapter 3, where the fall of Adam and Eve came and then happened that brought them to the abyss of sin and separation from God. Since then, God's people, God waited patiently for the right time. But when the right time came, God sent His Son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent Him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that He could adopt us as His very own children. As Galatians chapter 4, verse 45, New Living Translation states, Jesus fulfilled God's plan for humanity and brought us back to Him. Here's the Christmas message. We can all become merry again. Merry Christmas because of Jesus who brought us back to God. Amen. Merry Christmas, God's people. God bless you.